Hello, I'm Lieutenant Tom Ford, and today is the 50th anniversary of Little Miss Panasofsky. I want to talk to everyone today about Little Miss Panasofsky as a homicide case. It occurred in February of 1971. Uh, two hitchhikers were walking across the Lake Panasofsky Bridge, and they saw uh, flawed turtles and alligators. That's what they were looking down for as they walked across the bridge. But they saw something very unusual also. They saw a hand that was draping over um, a, a piece of wood that was sticking up out of the muddy bottom. And they contacted us, of course, as soon as they got off the bridge. But uh, it appeared that someone had rolled a young white female up in a piece of carpet and dropped her uh, over the bridge sometime within the last 90 days because she was very decomposed. And that began the case of Little Miss Panasofsky. Uh, we have investigated this case for 50 years now. When Jamie Adams was sheriff, I, I had the case for some 10 years under him and now detective uh, pam warren has it under my administration working the leads on the case uh we did not have dna back in the 70s so we got a court order back when sheriff adams was a uh, sheriff and we had the university of florida's uh, team archaeology team come out and exhumed her from the Oak Grove Cemetery. Uh, they took her to the University of Florida where they uh, checked her DNA. They checked her body for any unusual things that they could see. And she had had surgery on her right ankle, I believe. It was called a Wilson uh, surgical technique. And there were some pins put in her ankle, steel pins. And today they put serial numbers on them where they can be traced. But back then they had no numbers on them, no serial numbers. So we couldn't trace that either. We were hoping for a serial number on the pins and the ankles where we could uh, trace them back to who she might have been. But we know it's been a long time now. It's been uh, 50 years. and. Uh, she was probably in her early 20s, but maybe, just maybe, she might have had a friend that could uh, possibly remember her. But we're still working leads on it, and we want to keep that case open. And hopefully someone out there will recognize something about this young girl. See anything that might just ring a bell in your head, call us. That's what we want. Just that one phone call is all we need to, to break this case. I'm Detective Pamela Warren. I'm currently assigned to the case of Little Miss Lake Penasofsky. We are seeking any leads into the identity and the homicide of Little Miss Lake Penasofsky. If anyone has any information, please contact me at 352-569-1701.